Hello, welcome to Island Glades. Thanks for joining me. It's always great to have you, of course. So today I think I'd like to put some tram in, bring tram to the city. So I was kind of like doing some, looking at some routes and stuff and um, doing a little detail a little earlier. Because we're going to put, I think, the tram depot right in this little spot here. Pull a road off right, right parallel with the uh, cemetery there. We'll, we'll hook in there. And I got rid of the bike lane, the bike road that was in here. So I kind of moved it and kind of gave them their own little bike path. So now they're using that. They're actually riding along. Sometimes you see them down here. There's a couple of folks teleporting through the key here. Because, you know, I give my citizens. There's a policy you can implement called uh, citizen teleportation and phase shifting. And it works really well. It only costs like two, I think, cents a, a citizen. Something like that. It's not that expensive. And we went ahead and detailed this area a little bit and move the bike line over so that way now we can run some tram down here. So let's go ahead and get that done. First, we need to put the depot in. And it doesn't matter because we're going to do. We're going to make this tram, tram went road anyway. So we can bring this out to here. And the depot should fit here. Let's take a look. Almost. Oh, look, it was meant to be. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll go here and afford us to put a line of trees if we want to do that. Can't build on water? Well, I can fix that. No problem, my friend. We shall fix the water situation. We'll go with the water. Like that. Throw a couple rocks. And then we can just go ahead and chop this off. So the water can still flow through here. I think I want to run, run Barry through here anyway. Oh yeah. I think I go ahead and fix him again. There you go, like that. And we'll go ahead and throw him back in here. Nice little tramp spot. Maybe put, put the land up just a little bit more. In this little spot here. And right here. Just nice and flat. I'm putting him a little hill in the back. A little mound here. Make it so it's not so uh, square here. And once again, pull this out a little bit. Let the water get through here. Alright. Not bad. And train with road. Mr. Train with road, where are you? You are in here somewhere. That's one way track. Just sit here. Two lane tram road. And I'd like to go through here, up into here, and I want to convert this to tram road. This whole entire four, the four lane road. It's a shame that I like the trees, but that's okay. That'll get us out and going. I'm just looking. Is there an alternate way to do that? I don't really think so. I mean, we could run the tram along the campus in the back here. Off the road. I mean, we will. That's a different way. But I think coming out here and kind of going to the city, this will come through the four lane road. Alright, let's just do that. So, we can kind of come down here and come up this way. I don't want to come up this road because that's where the bikes are. But maybe we'll put a tram stop right in here. So that's where the bikes will be. So let's do maybe one more block up. Like here. Oh, maybe not there. Because that guy wants to blow up and die. Oh, that dictated that, didn't it? it said nobody. 
Don't you know? You can't mess with me no more. Alright, so he's there. Alright, so if we don't want to destroy too many buildings in here. Well, I gotta fix my fencing. My fencing's disappearing. What are you doing to me, Tram Road? You that much wider? Okay. All right, that part's in. Start thinking about tram routes. So now tram can come out of the depot and go somewhere. Where is it going to go? We're about to find out. And then I have to make a mental note to fix my um, fencing at some point or forget about it completely. So I like a route. So we got the metro here, right? So it would be nice to have tram kind of scoop people up, bring them to the campus maybe come down here link this up although we have the metro the metro is bringing folks to here so I'm saying maybe they can like it'll be like a collector transit that collects like the folks that live in here brings them brings it to here as well as kind of gets people into the campus so we need like a route so we have this of course because now then the main street so we need to inter interact we'll get rid of the bus so we need to interact. See how there's quite a bit. Of, there's a, quite a bit of buses too. So maybe I don't want to get rid of the biking here. So can we come down through the campus or the school? Maybe we we'll get rid of the biking here and bring the biking right to here. I think that's the way to do it. Yep, I think so. So we'll go ahead and get our tram route here. That's two lane trolley. Probably is forbidden on this channel. It is the forbidden transit. And we'll put bike in here, so people can still bike to. If they want to bike to the met, uh, metro. They can. All right, so that's good. So maybe he'll. This that'll be this route. He goes to here, or actually maybe we can continue him all the way up to the gate. Let's see, let's look at the look at the tram route we have now. So you can go. We don't have a place to turn around here. We have biking everywhere, of course. Maybe around this little spot here. Okay. Hey, Peter. How you doing? Turn around there. Good morning. Putting in tram. Got to go up here. Come around. I think that'll work. And then it can kind of... This is like set up for a loop. So how the heck is that going to work? Is this going to be all one big tram line? Oh, it is. Yeah, it, it will be. Yeah, let's do all one one tram line in here. This route's gonna be complicated. I feel like already it's pretty hurt my brain. But that's okay. We'll get it figured out. Let's go ahead and finish this piece. I think I know where I want the route to go in here. This is a tricky spot. This is a lot of like bridges I don't want to remove, like this bridge here and this bridge here, so we gotta make some make some other stuff. So I kind of want to stop like centric to this and to bring them to here. So I'm thinking like bring the tram line maybe down this way. Or do we want to go a little bit left to give so the, the light residential folks over here can kind of like go in here, do tramming. 
Or do we want to run it in the front? Uh, I don't know about that. Nah, I think it either runs down this way. Maybe that's what we're going to do. Because there's a lot of high density in here. Kind of like looking at this holistically. I like guess the one big kind of like little area where the stop radius is going to be. A stop like right, right here is about where it should be. So actually right, the tram route should probably go like this. Maybe we can put the tram on its own thing. Yeah, let's do that. I have like the tram kind of like, well, sometimes it's on the road, sometimes it's not. Kind of deal. So maybe like something like this. Boop. What are you doing to me? I kind of want this to be a little bit more curvy. That's a little weird. Can I find a happy medium? I guess not. guys back on. I need guidance. Well that's why it's not doing that because it's not. Sh we can do it here though. So have the tram come through here. Have the stop like in here. All right. I like it. I like it. I think it'll it'll look okay once we kind of decorate it. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. The train kind of winding through here. Drop people off at the cable car. And from here, it'll jump across the water. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. Like that. I oh, need to upgrade here. I want to roll my bridge. Maybe it'll come. I wouldn't mind having it going on the side here, but. Maybe it'll come across here. It's like a piece of tram road that goes like this. Not like that, Skylines. Alright, so we gotta make Skylines help me out here. Pause the game. I need help. Skylines, help me out, man. Help me out. We need a hole here. Big, big cavern. Skylines is like, there's no way I can put a road here. No way I can put this tram road here. I'm like, I know. Well, I kind of like the little hump. I kind of like the little hump. Oh, man. You, you, you teased me with the little hump. Now I have to make a hump. Oh, I'm ready to do this. I just want it to be straight. There we go. I think it's about the middle of the water. Land back. I didn't really need to do that. That's okay. There you go. Little humping bridge. Or should I have curved it? Hmm. Come up here, curve it like this into here. I think that might be the better way to do it. Where's the stop going to be? So, I'll probably have a stop at the high school. Let people go to school. In all reality, I probably should have came down here and come this way. Because then the stop's actually in front of the high school. Maybe let's do that.
Uh, okay. I have an even better idea. Okay. The, the, the juices are starting to flow. Get rid of this. Keep one ahead. Bring this down one more. So we're just losing the um, robot tr retrieves for tram. And it comes out here. It's tram only road. Gonna bring it along here. Maybe it won't snap the things. Maybe we'll start to curve about halfway. I really wish I didn't do that little weird. Looks like a tiger shark. A little tiger shark tram line. Could bring it all the way down to here. Ooh, well, let's might as well do it. We're gonna do it right. Let's do it. So we'll come all the way down a little farther so we don't have the tiger stripes. Come down to this intersection. That's gonna be slightly problematic, maybe. It's not that busy of a road. And maybe that won't be won't be too bad. We'll see if that causes major traffic problems with the tramp crossing the street right here. And we need to scoop people. Oh, we need to scoop people up in here, don't we? Well, maybe we put a stop in here. Shoot. So I like a stop here and it coming through here. Or maybe we just put a little bus route in here to collect folks, like in here, and here, and maybe bring them down into here. So maybe we'll do a little bus route that br brings people down into here. Brings people to like maybe up here, or a chance stop up here. We'll see. Let's get the roads in, and then we can kind of figure that out as we go. So this is trolley, this is tram. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Fix the land a little bit. We wanna hit like this spot here. Maybe like this spot here. Nice little ramp. Bar tram that kinda come up. Look at that. I say good morning to you, right Peter? I thought I did. I hope I did. So good morning to you again for probably the second, maybe the third time even. Maybe you get three good mornings today. That would be nice. So we'll go here. If I want to bring up the road, bring it up a little bit. So maybe here, I kind of go up, step it up like one, one or two. And then maybe we'll do the whole bending thing. I like kind of like the hump. I like the hump. So let's do like a hump in the middle. It's a little hump. Oh, it's a big hump. Well, it's pretty big. And we need to curve it. Maybe we start the curve over here. Kind of like this. That's looking pretty good there. And then we can kind of go like this. Get the hump right here. That's going to be about straight in, I think. Kind of like that. The tram goes up and comes down. Ah, no problem, man. Enjoy your family. Enjoy. And then we have, to, then we can connect to here. All right, so it's just coming together. This is coming together. Nice. I have to unfortunately get rid of this piece of um, the road, but. That's okay. And then we're gonna bring it straight across from here, right? Six and one half. A well, actually, it's gonna go this way. So probably slightly, slightly bent to the to the down and left is probably better. we come from here. Gotta do something like this. Oh, 
Ugh. That's a little bit too much of a hump there. Let's get rid of this guy. Just kind of go like that. Oh, I want train with road. That's not what I want at all. That ruins my water. What are you doing to me? Alright, so we gotta do a hole in the ground so skylines won't draw a road. Way down there, you can't make a road no more. Thank you, skylines, for cooperating. A slight bend to it. Like that. And maybe uh, we'll get rid of this, put this back. Uh, it's this one here, right? With the water, with the land back. There we go. And get the land back. Excited to see the tram network taking shape. Oh, thanks, Peter. We're getting there. Put this dirt back. I think we're actually connected. I think the tram, the tram infrastructure is in. Now route choice. Where to put it? All right, let's take a look and see where it's going to go. We know for a fact. We get rid of the bus. We know for a fact it's going to go here. And we know for a fact it's going to go to the campus. So we want to be on this side of the road. And like I said, we know we, we know we want to be here. We want to be here. And we're orange today. We'll start that. All right. So I know we want some stops in here, and we've had a turnaround up here. So, so we'll go this way. Maybe we'll put a stop in here. It should. I wonder. It should automatically turn it around. So we don't have to put the stop there. Mm, let's see. Grab you. Not yet. Don't be too happy yet. Not done. So turn around. And we got some high density here and here and here. Where's the bike? Bike's right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw in a tram stop in here. I bet people will be happy. Come up through here. Maybe we even put a stop in here. Make these people happy. Okay, it's taking shape. Maybe we should save the game. I haven't saved it since 9.30 last night. Alright. We know we want to go to here. So we can pull a stop from here. So it comes down. We'll put a stop here. Let's move it to like here. Oh, we gotta get rid of the bus stop. Okay. Well, let's do that. Sorry, buses. Then you've done a very good job. Thank you for your service. But tram's coming to town. The tram is coming to town. I mean, although, yeah, we're coming through there. I mean, I could put the tram here. I can put it here. It's a little cramped in here. But that's okay. I'm gonna put another stop here. Drag and drop. Okay, that's part of our route there. So we got, you live here, you can go here. You gotta take a long journey up here. It's a long ride. Well, it's, <laughs> do we wanna have like a stop here? Or do we wanna move this stop down? Maybe let's move this because that way I'm wondering if, like if I'm on the tram here 
And I'm not sure if this this is how it's gonna work. If I'm on the tram line here, I want to I live down here. I want to go to the metro because I want to go over to here. I don't really want to go to the campus. That's like out of the way, right? This is going up. But I wouldn't mind getting on the tram and like continuing. Or maybe even transferring. So do I put a, put this instead of this stop here, maybe move it down to here? And that way folks can get off the tram and then get on the other tram? Or do you think they'll just, they'll just ride along up here and be like, yeah, it's fine. I don't know, I'm gonna think about that. There's gotta be, a, I've done it in another city where I had an up like this and I was able to get them to, to go here, here, as well as up here. So I have to look and see how I ran that route. So I just hate for them to have to go all through two stops up here just to go to here. I'd rather have them have the ability also to just go here. But that's going to take some some wizardry. And then we can put a tram stop in here. We have a path in here, right? Oh, we do. So we can put a tram stop in kind of like the middle of that. Well, we'll put one in the gate. So maybe one here. If we want to go to the gate. But maybe something in here. I guess scoot people up here. I guess it's gonna go over here. It's a little close for tram, but it's probably okay. It's high density, so folks, maybe I love I love to be able to run it. Well, I blew up some buildings, so we have the opportunity to run some paths up to here. Have people kind of go up here to here. Or maybe we just drop them off at this gate up here. We don't drop them off at this gate. Yeah, maybe let's do that. We'll put them in here. There's a gate here. That's, that's a little bit better spacing. And then they can use the big, this gate wherever it was here. And there's even a gate here. So use one of these gates and go do stuff. And this also will collect up some of the light residents over here. So we want to come down and you know, I wanted to give them a stop at high school. Although they'll probably cross the street and clog up the jam up the four lane road, but that's okay. <laughs> I want to stop in here. So maybe we'll, this will be a short stop. Or maybe we'll actually put the stop closer to here. That might be the better. Why can't you just lay the stop? Oh, because it's a short piece of road. Put you here. No, I don't want to create a line, buddy. I want to make a stop. Thank you. Move you back to here. Where the high density is, like right here. I think that's long enough for a train to sit there. Not block the intersection. And then they can just get out and walk across the street to go to high school if they want to. That way folks in here, and maybe we'll put a little path from here down into here. Try and like, or maybe here, like along here, the, like a dirt path. So like the people that live in this residence, because their only entrance and exit is this, I think right in here somewhere, yeah, right here. Or right here, okay, so they can come out here. They're good, they, gotta, they, can, they can walk here, get to here. These folks here can kind of come through here, walk here across the street and get on the tram here. That way we're kind of serving like this high density area. And then this is this stops kind of like grabbing these folks up in here. All right, so then we got this folks in here. So we want to stop in here somewhere. We could blast the path through here, which might be the way to do it. We have the path through here. So folks on this side can get to here. We I definitely wanted to put like a stop here. So people from over here can walk here, which they might. They might not. They might just walk here instead of going back to go forward. But they might walk here if they want to go to the metro. You know, take the long wide ride to the metro. It's a long ride. And of course, we have to stop there. So maybe a stop in here would be good. And looking at the spacing, 
probably about here is, is, is good. Right, like right here. And make them happy, they'll be level five. Hey, good morning, Arthur. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Hope you're doing well. We're getting the tram in. It's looking pretty good. I think I got a, a, a pretty nice route here so far. We don't really have something for these guys here. That's the only, only thing I, I see that we're missing. We could, they could walk out to here, maybe. These guys are kind of SOL. That's a shame. We could have came this way. I guess we could have came this way and hit here. And that was an alternative. Kind of come like this and here. But do we have these for residents here, so we'll put a path up to here. Or they can walk up the street. Trans remind me of salty air. Well, we're all along the coast. We're in the, well, it's the swamp land. But uh, I think this is good. I think this is okay. I would like to have grabbed these folks a little bit better, but maybe, I mean, they can walk here. These guys will just be, like I said, they're just tough out of luck. The, the train does do a nice job of kind of splitting through this area. And collect, we'll collect these folks, we'll collect these folks, collect these folks here. Doesn't really do a good job here. Oh, I wanted to go into here, didn't I? Well, we have the cable car breaks them up here. The way we want to have the tram somehow go up into here and come back down. That's an alternative as well. So I, I have to rework this spot here. Which I could probably just put a stop here. Maybe we'll just put the stop here for now. It's up here. Let's move it like to this block. We'll get rid of this one here. Sorry. Alright, let's put this bad boy in action. I think it looks good. What do you guys think? Oh, we can put the cemetery back. We'll take a look at the tram route one more time. And uh, hit the button. And not watch the trams come out. And then this can be... Uh, we haven't named anything F. Peter, we have something named after you, right? Peter something. You're down here. And then we have Arthur. You have the campus. You have a, you have a metro line. But you also don't have... Oh, you have this area here. Okay, so you got a spot. So I'd like to name this line something. But let's run it. Oh, uh, you have what? I think, Arthur, you have three spots, and um, Peter has two so far. Right? You have a district, you have a, a, a transit line, and a school. You're my number one, man. Well, oh, people are going here, so that's good. And then we, I'll, uh, we're going to detail the heck out of this line and make it look real pretty. Matter of fact, we'll do that. We'll start it right now. Oh, Arthur, I put in this uh, little spot here. Because we, since we had to get rid of the biking because of the tramps, we had biking in here. I went ahead and just pulled the biking off of here and made a separate bike path. I put a little feature in here, a couple rocks, and some fencing. And then now they kind of they bike along the water here, and they bike up into here. And in here, and then some. You can see some people are using the key actually to um, do their little phase shift, fun stuff, and and everything coming up and down here. So that's working out pretty well. I got to do some decorations around here too, but we, we we got got it in, and it's looking pretty decent. Oh lord, how many trams are we putting on this thing? Holy cow! Okay. How many trams did you put on the Skylines? 15? 15 is not that bad. Actually, that's probably going to be an appropriate amount of tram. It just needs to spread out. Oh, so those of you who maybe aren't familiar with um, transit. 
so there's two things you got to really understand with the transit when you first write, run a, a bus line really any line i think the metro and the train spread them out right away and one is if you if you're running your transit route while the game is running people will go to the stop instantly because they'll see like they the citizens know the stop is there as soon as you place it i, I had happened to place it while the game was paused so we didn't really run into that so that'll cause people to pile up because you're going to be like, ooh, a tram stop. I want to go here. I want to take the tram. The tram is awesome. It makes a ding-ding noise, and I want to be on the tram. Just to drive around the city on the tram. So then you'll go into your routing here, and you'll look at your tram line. Which is that? Not that. And you'll go, oh, geez, there's 322 people at this stop. That's not good. 370 people over here. And then you'll like go in here and up the, up the tram. So that's not the, the, the way to do it. <clears throat> so just realize people are going to pile up at the stops well before even the route is complete because they see the stop and they want to go there and then the second driver is the game wants to will send everything to the first tram first usually the first stop you placed it may be the closest stop to the depot i'm not sure but it, it'll send it to a stop all the trams or all the buses all the trolleys whatever it may be to the first kind of spot and then they'll just sit here and wait well, i hope we didn't cause a traffic jam we might we might have because what the game will do is then it'll say okay i'm gonna go ahead and pile up everybody at the first stop and then i'm gonna wait and let them go one at a time to space them out but i think we might actually cause the problem here because these guys can't move because these guys, like, it's not spread out yet. The game kind of screwed me a little bit here. Part of my language. It will work fine once it's spread out, but it's not spread out. Are they going to work at all? Let's see. It's going to take a little while because it needs, these guys need to go around here. I'm wondering if we just change the side of the, the route side. So they don't have to, so they can, so he wants to go. He's waiting on this guy to get out of the way. We'll have to watch this and see what it does. And when he moves, is he going to go? Or are you stuck in tram purgatory? Or is everybody trying to go to this stop? That's what's going on. Everyone's trying to go here. Okay, well we can do this. Just blow this stop up. Everybody get moving. Thank you. And then we'll put it back once the tram's kind of spread out. So I think this was the first stop I placed. I thought it was the one at the campus, but it was not. It's actually probably this stop. I think I went here and then I went to here. So yeah, it was the first stop I placed. The game said, I want to put all the trams in here. But then, of course, it's a short block. So now at least they're moving. Now they'll go to this stop because this is the next stop. And then they're going to wait. The the, the, the um, game's going to hold them back. So they spread out. Of course, that'll cause people to pile up at the stops because they're not getting service. Because the game's like, well, i gotta, I got to space them out. So just be mindful. The game does goofy things like this. But you want them to be spaced out. You don't want, like, five trams driving down the street. Like, all on a Congo line. But hopefully they'll will they will spread out. And it looks like they're gonna kinda start moving. And I could alleviate this by reducing the number of tramps as well. To like maybe five or six and just let them kinda get moving. And then incrementally add them. But it's starting to work out okay. Hey, thanks, Peter. Oh, Chandler's was the one that was helping me put this in this morning. He helped me put the bike path in. Now people are not getting collected of the dead here. But they're moving. A little bit here. Alright. Uh, it could be. They bunch up. They are released at the same time. But then they go. They, they bunch up at that first stop. Because like I said. The. The game doesn't like send them like to like stop like one tram to stop one, one tram to stop two and stop three. It sends them all to like that first stop. 
and then it holds them there and then it sends out like one at a time so like probably you know when one vehicle gets to the next stop say stop two and then that, and that vehicle goes to stop three then this vehicle stop one goes to stop two you know what i'm saying it starts kind of spreading them out and then so on and so forth but it's starting to um i don't know if they're despawning or if it's starting to spread out do we have any tramps down here yet no nothing down here oh we do have the first ones down here all right Oh, it's down here. Are people getting off this one tram and then coming to the other one? Oh, they sure are. They sure are. Ah, <laughs> it does do that. Okay. You see that? They got off of this tram and went to this tram. Okay. And I think they're going to do the same. This guy in the blue shirt. Mr. Blue Shirt, where are you going? I know he left. He lives, he lives down there. I want to find somebody else. Mr. Pink Shirt? Mr. Pink Shirt, where are you going? Oh, yeah, see? So it was a smart move to um, put that stop in here. Okay, so that, that's good. So really, if I wanted to move the stop and make it even a little bit better, I could put the stop here and the stop here. Like for this line. And they actually will get out. They'll transfer. Because they, these people don't want to stay on the tram and go up to the campus. So they're like, nah, forget that. I'm just going to catch the next tram. Even though it might be the same tram. <laughs> it might be the same tram. Once it's all spread out, they'll get off. That tram will ride up here. Come around and <laughs> pick them back up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So it does work that way. They will transfer between stops of the same line. If it's close. Right? Did you, you saw that, right, Arthur? I'm not seeing things. They are getting out of this tram here and walking across the street and getting on this tram here to go back to the metro, to get to the metro. Because, like I said, this is out of the way. For, for people who want to go from here to the metro, this going up here is out of the way. But it's not, like, it's um, not that inconvenient. They can just walk right across. But I guess if the road was long... You know what I'm saying? So you might want to put it near the corner so they can have a crosswalk. Or if the road's kind of long, maybe put like a little bridge that goes across. You know, it's like the, if we didn't have like this connecting road here, like the road was this long, you wouldn't want to walk all the way up here. So maybe you do like a little bridge. And maybe we'll even put a little, maybe I'll blow this fencing up a little and we'll put a little path, little dirt path here so people in here can just walk right here. They don't have to like come in and come out, go over and down, come out, come over and down. They can just kind of like walk right out their front door. Cheaper ticket. Yeah, cheaper ticket, Elzer said. As long as they ha they buy a fresh ticket, <laughs> I got to get that revenue. Oh, yeah, and then Peter's saying maybe they, they double, we double dip. We're double dipping on, on the ride here. All right, the tram's kind of spreading out. But what is this tram here? What are you doing? Did I... I oh, I put 19. I That's right, when I made the mistake of putting 19 instead of 15. I think we're going to need more tramps. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait to see if once they spread out, if uh, they keep up. But we can, I can still see we got stops with like 200 people sitting at them. 230. And then we should probably check our other transit. Because... Once you add more trans, so it's a good policy or a good practice to once you change any piece of your transit, really anything, even a bus stop, moving it around once a little bit, it's a good idea just to kind of run, go in here. We'll save it first because I've had the balloon screen of death a few times checking bus routes. But it's a good policy just to kind of go into your transit routes and to see where what anything changed because you may find that uh, people. You know, we'll take that over, say maybe they'll now take this route instead of taking the metro, or maybe now the metro is busier because it's scooping up more people and bringing them to the metro. Or there's a bus route over here that now people are taking in the metro more because of the, they're bringing the tramps, and now this bus route in here is getting more people because they're coming out of here more. You know what I'm saying? Like this cascades, the whole game kind of reconfigures the transit. 
and you may find it like yeah wow the bus route way over here got bit got heck of busy and there's like 50 people at a bus stop because we, we're scooping more people up here and they're getting to here and they're taking this route all the way up into here to get to this metro a lot a lot, a lot more convenient you know as opposed to maybe just driving or taking the bike and doing a different route we may also find that the people aren't taking the bike route that much oh, it looks like they are still biking that's good i was hoping that we, the biking would stay intact because sometimes you run transit in parallel with the biking and then the biking goes away because they just say ah, i'm gonna take the, i'm gonna take the transit instead we we'll go ahead and empty this guy out you guys take care i wish you the best after this as always happy building